My research and my teaching are closely related. In both of them, I interest, I'm interested in a couple of things. First thing I'm interested in is what's the future of narrative given new technologies, in particular given interactive capabilities. It's a, it's a difficult problem, an interesting problem, and an important problem. Stories have been with us forever, and we have a sense of how to tell story in a variety of traditional media, but we haven't yet figured out how to tell story in interactive media. We're starting to learn, we're getting there, but that's the stuff of my research, and that's, what, that's also the core of my teaching. The other thing that I'm interested in, in terms of my, 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 my own research and also my own teaching is what's the future of the moving image? That's not the same as narrative. Moving image includes narrative, but includes other things. It includes spectacle, it includes visual attraction, it includes visual flow. And so my research there is looking at what effect will new technologies like high definition standards or flat panel displays or high dynamic range, that's a lot of contrast ability inside the image. What does that mean, not so much as a technology, but what does it mean for artists and what does it mean for producers? The other thing that I do that, that, that's part of my moving image research is I'm a video artist. So I make my own films. Uh, I, do, I work in a, in, a, in a format that I call ambient video. Ambient video is uh, a different kind of video experience. It's a video experience where the image plays on the wall in the background of your life. And when you look at it, it's beautiful and it's interesting and it gives you visual pleasure. But you don't have to look at it. It plays and it waits for you. It's kind of like visual pleasure on demand. Uh, so the, my art and my research uh, feed each other. But also in the process of teaching, uh, whenever I teach, what I love about teaching is this. I love being in a room with 30 or 40 really smart young people that are passionate about the same kind of media and the same kind of creative ideas and the same kind of creative possibilities that I am. I get a chance to give them uh, some context for what, how they're trying to grow. Uh, I give them some pointers and directions that I think are useful. I'll give them some guidance in terms of things that have worked and are working, but it's a dynamic relationship because at the same time I learn from my students, my undergraduate students and my graduate students about what it's like to grow up and live fully in a digital media world.